Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to be talking about heraldry, history, and the home nations of the United Kingdom. The smallest unit of predecimal currency was the farthing. The name comes from Old English and means fourth, as it was worth one quarter of a penny. The wren was placed on the coin because it was one of Britain's smallest birds. The halfpenny features the famous ship Sir Francis Drake used to circumnavigate the globe and antagonize any Spanish he met along the way, the Golden Hind. It was originally known as the Pelican, but Drake changed the name to honor his patron Sir Christopher Hatton, whose crest was a golden hind or female deer. The sculptor of the design, Humphrey Paget, is also famous for his effigy of King George VI on coins from 1937 to 1952. The origin of the word penny isn't clear, but it is linguistically related to the German finning. The symbol comes from the ancient Roman coin the denarius. On the reverse is Britannia, the personification of the British Isles since the Roman occupation. Behind her is the sea in a lighthouse, signifying Britain's long maritime history. The trident represents Britain's martial prowess on the sea. On her shield is the Union flag. The reverse of the three pence coin features a portcullis and chain, a symbol of the Beaufort family from whom the Tudor royal line originates. The crown was added during the reigns of Henry VII and Henry VIII. Today, the symbol is commonly used to represent the Houses of Parliament at Westminster Palace, where Henry VII made his home. The reverse of the sixpence is adorned with flowers, representing the four home nations of the United Kingdom. The Tudor Rose of England comes from the time of Henry VII, when he ended the War of the Roses and united the Red Rose of Lancaster with the White Rose of York. The thistle has been a symbol of Scotland since the reign of Alexander III. According to legend, an invading army went barefoot to sneak up on a Scottish army but cried out when they stepped on the thistles, alerting the defenders. The shamrock represents Ireland. Legend says that Ireland's patron saint, St. Patrick, used the shamrock to illustrate the doctrine of the Trinity in 5th century Ireland. The leek represents Wales. Tradition holds that St. David, patron saint of Wales, ordered Welsh soldiers to wear a sprig of leek on their helmets to distinguish themselves from an opposing army. The name shilling comes from Old English and roughly means slice. In this case, it's a slice of a pound, or one twentieth. The reverse of the shilling features either the arms of England or Scotland beneath a Tudor crown. The Tudor crown doesn't physically exist. Instead, it's a heraldic symbol representing the British monarchy and its authority. The blazon for the English arms is gules, three lions passant, gardant, and pale or, armed in lang d'azur. The arms of England were first used by Richard the Lionheart, the three lions represent the Kingdom of England, the Duchy of Normandy, and the Duchy of Aquitaine. The blazon for the Scottish arms is or, a lion rampant gules, armed in lang d'azur within a double tresser flory counter flory of the second. These arms were likely first used by King William the Lion, who ruled Scotland around the same time as Richard I. The two shilling coin, or florin, has a floral design similar to the sixpence, featuring a Tudor rose, thistles, shamrocks, and leeks. The word florin comes from the Latin word flor, meaning flower, and was originally used to describe a gold coin from Florence. The British florin was first made during the reign of Victoria as an early attempt to partially decimalize the pound since the florin was one-tenth of a pound. The half crown is worth two shillings and six pence, or one quarter of a pound. On the reverse are the arms of the United Kingdom, surrounded by part of the royal cipher of Queen Elizabeth II and the Tudor crown. The first and fourth quarters of the shield depict the arms of England. The second quarter depicts the arms of Scotland. The third quarter depicts the arms of Ireland, which is blazoned azure, a harp or stringed argent. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Which of the predecimal designs is your favorite? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.